For decades, animation involved drawing and painting single frames of artwork and photographing them one by one on a motion picture camera. Today, that's all changed. Modern animation is created on computers by artists skilled in technology, artists like Ed Laser. Working from home, he creates animation for motion picture, television, and corporate clients. I solve graphics problems um, in motion. In the old days, in the old, old days, pre-internet days would have been print. Um, my thing is basically motion graphics. And that involves, that involves still graphics that need to be animated in some way. Um, but then I'm also a 3D animator. So that could mean modeling and building 3D models and animating them. I used to work for DreamWorks out in uh, Palo Alto, California. And the very first Shrek film had this beautiful boiling fire effect that the dragon would spit out this fire. Totally realistic fireballs. Well, it took a really long time to render. And I had come up with, as an effect, a way of creating fire that rendered really fast. It was really cheap to render, which means the script was really small, you could place it anywhere, and it would render instantly. Um, and they needed it for the torches at the beginning of the film. So I wasn't, in, I wasn't on Shrek, but I had created this, this little script in order to solve this problem. And so I became the hero and able to solve this problem without having to be on the team and having to spend weeks developing a piece of software. And that means that a graphic animator is more than a computer artist. He or she is often just as much a problem solver. So what does it take to become a graphic animator? There are animation and graphic design schools online. There are schools that you can go to four year. Um, I started, I always loved to draw, but more specifically, I loved to draw technical drawings. I loved to design skateboards and go-karts and things like that, and I would always draw them up in three views so that I, my dad or my grandpa could help me build them. So I ended up in high school taking four years of mechanical drawing, um, aced all my classes. I just loved doing it because it was, you know, I got to draw things and try to make them look real back in the day when, you know, the, the uh, VIC-20 and the Commodore 64 wasn't even around. This is before Apple existed. While taking formal classes can help you become a graphic animator, there are other ways to break in. Everything you need is at your fingertips with an internet connection and a modern computer. With open source software available on the internet, you can begin creating animation in your spare time, but it also requires academics in addition to talent. Everyone, I believe, should have basic art knowledge. And I'll say, and I'll say this because more and more media today is using art, is using imagery to tell a visual story. And unfortunately, I mean, it might be some cynicism on my part, but a lot of people are being duped because the pictures are telling a story and they're fooling some of the viewers in order to sell whatever they're selling. You've got to be media savvy. Taking art can help you learn part of that. Learning visual language is very important. Um, something else that's very important, let's say that you're not necessarily going to be on the illustrative side of the arts, if you're going to go more towards 3D like, like I've done, then you have to have your math. You have to have your algebra, your, all your basic, you know, all the way up to calc. Unless you're going to be an effects guy, then you'd get into your calculus. And, but you have to have your math background. Like most creative jobs, the workday can be long. It's not unusual to work beyond 10 hours a day. Many animators and graphic artists also work for themselves as freelancers. So you have to be able to market yourself to clients, and competition is stiff. You can't look at the kids, the other kids in your particular high school classroom and think they're the competitors. Nowadays, I'm thinking there's a, there's a guy in India or China, or, and literally, when, it comes, when I do bidding for jobs, I am bidding against those people. When a person is going to hire you, you're going to get a job because you're able to solve that problem faster and cheaper than the next guy. Graphic animation careers are fast-paced and creative ways to earn a living. The work is challenging, but rewarding. If I could stress this somehow to someone who's in high school, who's looking at college, 
that you have the opportunity to write your own deal. You don't, you don't really realize that when you're young until you're into it. <laughs> you know, working for somebody else, there's going to be constraints. When you're working for yourself, um, you can make it as successful as you want it to be. If you can read and you have some basic math skills and you have access to the internet, which most people in America do, you have every opportunity to do what I'm doing, really.